What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. I want to show you how to get a grip. And right here, this product will help you do it. So it is uh, winter here in Chicago and something kind of dangerous happened here. It was actually warm for several days. And in fact, it rained at the end of the year here in Christmas. And uh, so there was water and a nice, you know, dousing of humidity and moisture over everything. And then it dipped into the 20s. And so everything's frozen. In fact, um, when I was out today on the sidewalks, they're almost like just sheets of ice. They're actually kind of dangerous. So this little thing here in this little uh, vinyl pouch, or nylon pouch, a little handle here, uh, has some weight to it. And this thing is going to maybe save you from a bad fall or breaking your neck or suffering an injury, a mechanical injury in particular. And so what we have here are basically like shoe crampons. So we have two of them here, and these are kind of the most elaborate ones I have seen. I, I've shown you in the past some that are just like a strap. They kind of go around the, the toe of your shoe. But these are quite a bit more uh, substantive than that. So we have two of these straps here, and these are what's going to hold it basically over your foot and tighten it down if you want, I believe. But here you can see, oh, it says crampon right here. So we have this kind of rubber top piece, but it's really thick. I mean, that's like four millimeters thick, maybe four millimeters here and five on the outside. And you can see how your foot would, your shoe would go in here, right? So you kind of pull it out, kind of put it on almost like a slip on shoe. And this is gonna be the back. I know it says left and right. I didn't realize there was gonna be a left and right side to it, but because uh, they seem to be <laughs> mirror images of each other. And But then on the bottom, what you're gonna have are these chains, these metal chains that go around the bottom of your shoe. And then you have these metal pieces, which are more than just bent sheet metal. These things are pretty thick. And so I don't feel like these are going to, to move. And you have, oh man, you have a big one on the heel. You have two smaller ones right in the middle. And then you have uh, three kind of around the front foot here. I guess call two in the back and, and four in the front. So you should get a really nice plant as you're walking on ice or snow. Honestly, I feel like just a few of these protrusions would give you plenty of traction, but these are going to probably be uh, overkill. Cold and snowy out here and the nice thing is, even though I don't have a lot of ice around on the ground, I actually do have quite a bit of frozen lawn. So I thought we'd give these suckers a shot. I'm just gonna have to see if we can get these on. Look at that. Wow, that was pretty quick. Quite a bit easier to do. Again, just marked on the back here. So all I'm doing is putting them over my toe and then just pulling them all the way to the back. Now, for reference, I have size 10 feet size 10 shoes, so obviously they're gonna be larger than that because they're on the exterior of the shoe, but these crampons uh, go on just that quickly. Let's try them out on the icy lawn. All right, like I said, I don't have a lot of standing ice at the moment, but the lawn has <laughs> rained uh, kind of because it was warmer. It was like 50 degrees a couple days ago, and so it's really icy, and now it's snowing and you know, 28 degrees, so obviously pretty icy. And, ooh, I mean, they're not like sports cleats because they are much sharper. And that being said, they just cut into stuff. Boom! Boom! <laughs> Look at that. Wow. All right. So I'll say, obviously, on the snow covered, ice covered ground here, traction is no problem. But uh, I would be happy to walk on an ice skating rink with these things or black ice or ice covered sidewalks. I mean, if you have to go out, whether it's just to fetch paper from the end of your driveway or work outside or shovel snow or snow blow or, you know, whatever it might be, dude, you should get a pair of these. They just slip over everything. They're much better than those smaller ones with the little metal dots. These are legit, man. These are legit. I'll put a link to these bad boys in the description below because they're pretty amazing, man. I'm stoked that I have them. We'll check out some more winter gear here shortly. Peter Von Panda, out.